Still, I made that beat. Taking this best choice uh, 20 inch fold up bike that was just sitting in the backyard, you know, it's been <laughs> rust all over it. And I was like, hey, let's put a mid drive on this thing and see how this sucker run. So we ordered a Bafang uh, mid drive kit. And today we'll be installing it on this best choice 20 inch fold up bike. Hope you guys enjoy. So right here, we're cutting off the um, the stand for when you fold the bike. It's, it was in the way of the um, mid-drive hub. Oh, you see how it fits? Oh, that's, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so, it sits in there so beautiful. Look at that, Joe. So let them know what you're doing right now. Ain't no other washer. Seems like we should have one for the other side. Let me see. So we got the sprocket. We got the sprocket shield. Uh, look, you got your favorite latex gloves. Never leave home without latex gloves. This is the bomb. Got your your little light you're gonna put right here. Mm -hmm. We taking a piece of junk bike and we're gonna hook an engine on this thing and it's gonna be going 30 miles an hour. Think it'll be able to climb hills? Absolutely not. <laughs> but uh it's a good thought. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna scan this so you can um, the buffet video? Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? I do. I got a bag up. This got to go on first. These are the the uh, the sensors that let you know what's right going on. The speed sensors, you see? Yeah, these two. Yeah. Let me see again. Yeah. Handle lock and nut. All right, so first of all, we take the sprocket. You grab the engine itself. It's got five screws in there. You place it with the, the bevel facing down. Slide it right over the, uh, the screw. Take these puppies. There you go. Why? This is easy, though. That's the same. That's a different one. To the main sprocket assembly. You know, I got, I should use my drill with your speed stuff up. As a matter of fact, let me see. Hold up. You want to get a screwdriver and keep it nice and secure. Are you grabbing the screws with the Loctite? The purple lock tie. Screw it in by hand first. This like I ain't got no volume. Technically, I should put all the screws in before I tighten them up. It makes it easier. It's off a little bit. Be sure to join us next week where we teach you how to change a toddler's diaper. <laughs> we not only fix bikes. I'm talking about this little rascal right here. We change diapers. <laughs> right, Trey? It's 
a matter of fact, I think he's a little poultry right now. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Now you see this. Okay. All right, now we, we grab the sprocket shield. We just place it right over here. Line it up with the some holes. Then you got some self-tapping screws, these little bitty ones. And of course these are our Phillip heads. And you just tighten this up by hand with a Phillip head. Orange juice. Yeah, you got to put this on first because you line them up. Warm it. It's really kind of cheap. Go, don't go too far because they'll strip. Uh, monster truck. Monster truck, right, son? Monster truck. Posing. You posing, grandson? Grandson. All right. We're going to do five of these. Don't go hard. Yeah, it just strip right off. You know what? I got to take these gloves off. <laughs> Man, I can't see. <laughs> there we go. Get expensive solar panels. Get Tesla solar Man. and a power wall for no cost. Can you get paid two thousand five hundred dollars to get Tesla solar and a Tesla power wall? There's a new governmental clean it. All right, now you take this, you just slide it straight through them, rotate it around. All right, you got it. This screws in. Yep. Yeah. I have this one. It's like a yeah, you're a professional at this, huh? Yeah. You just started working on bikes, what, 15, 30 uh, seconds ago? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do. Yeah, we love bikes. We, uh, we're going through a few name changes right now, but our little crew is tight. Oh, no. This is what I do. This is so simple, man. See, being that the wires are underneath here, I don't have to go underneath. Right. On the other thing, it showed us going underneath, but we don't have to do that. It's like the perfect configuration. Put that sucker tight. Make sure this is good and tight. Okay. I want this sucker coming loose. Get about right there. About 20 pounds of torque. All right, so now it's in there. Now it won't come out. Woo, it really is in there. Look at that. You probably want it all the way down like that. Okay, now. What's that right there? This is the actual lock nut. And I guess you want the flat side. It's beveled on one side, so you want the flat side going in. And they probably have a wrench for us. I think it's under his gloves right there. Yeah, this is 
the wrench. Yes. Cool. Okay, this wrench simple. does come with the um, buffet. So, wow. when you get it, it'll be packaged in there. Spacings. It seems like it fits only one way. Woo! That's only that is not gonna move. Alright. Well, that was fast. Yeah, that was real fast. Yeah. What's up, grandson? But you can't play with this. Not that one, son. Not this one, grandson. You can put this one, Pop. No. Daddy gotta get you the right one. Come here, Pop. Go get it, Pop. Pop. A cool hat. All right. You just tighten it up as you tighten. There you go, grandson. Good job, buddy. There you go. What I like to do with this, get above it, and just push down. Get above it. Save your body and push it down. There you go. Now we take this one, and of course this one goes the opposite side. Same thing. Grab the screw. Put it in here. This is simple, man. You helping grandpa out, grandson? So same old thing. Get it in here. Sheep. Sheep. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, booga. Jeffrey. Booga. Out the way, buddy. Ah, right there. Of course, you take the pedals off the other bike. I mean, off the old thing, because it don't come with pedal. There. Now, this is literally hooked up. That's a beauty. Oh, no, these. Oh, it's this one. So these plug up to this one for the light. So that's for the front light? The front light, and it doesn't matter what location. Just stick them in. This is for your headlight. Make sure it's pushed in, you hear a little snap. In some cases, yep. And we just leave it here right now. Yeah. Okay. So we forgot to put this part on right here. He's going ahead and putting it on now. Just a nice little cover, makes it look professional. Pretty much a cover, like, you know, cover uh, the threads. Yeah, we got the special tool. And we can lock it up. So, I mean, it looks really professional. Using the tool, put it on. Tighten it up. And we'll put the uh, left. So pretty much right here, he's just connecting all the wires, like the controller, the um, throttle, um, all the cores that have to do with the functions of a motorbike i don't want to bore you guys to death so it's going to be what the green goes to it goes to the uh, lcd Explain. screen there we go it goes to the screen that uh that came with the, um, the thing again line the arrows up make sure the arrows are connected that is it guys so now we have to bring the battery oh so right here we just put the uh, speed sensor on yeah put the magnet on the uh, spokes and then the actual sensor it's pointing to, to the sensor. To the sensor. Um, that way you can plug the power in straight from the um, back. So here, guys, here's the BC. Um, 20 inch. Skinny tires. This is it. This is, I made this for my wife. Um, I'm going to definitely get all the rust off of it and, um, she wants it matte black, so I'm definitely going to strip it and paint it, put a new rack, new everything. <laughs> You'll see that in the next video. Once I'm done converting it and painting it and doing all the extra details.